Hey guys, it's Fishy, and today I'm back with a different kind of video. Today I'm going to be discussing the Gardenio and the many misconceptions that follow it. Chances are you've seen a Gardenio on an aquarium or even seen pictures of them online. Now you may be asking yourself, well why are they only kept at aquariums? Can I keep one in mine? Well the answer is yes, but there is some steps that you need to take before getting a garden eel. Now some people think that because it is called a garden eel, that means that it loves to live in rocks. Now that is completely false. Garden eels need a 2-3 to three inch sand bed to keep them happy. Now let's move on to their diet. Garden eels primarily eat things that float in the water column, but you can train them to go to frozen foods such as mysis shrimp or bloodworms. Mine has personally taken a liking to mysis shrimp. Since garden eels are thin, that means that they don't need a lot of food. Mine only eats once a day. Garden eels could also be considered a form of cleanup crew because they do scavenge the sand near their holes for unwanted food. Now you're probably thinking, since these eels are true eels, does that mean that they are necessarily aggressive to other tank mates? Not at all, actually. Garden eels prefer a more seclusive and hidden life. Garden eels could also be very observant. Here's a video of my garden eel taking a liking to my finger. Overall, there's only two species of garden eel that is available for aquarium trade, and that would be the dark spotted garden eel and the splendid garden eel. Fortunately, I had to order a spotted garden eel and have it shipped to my local fish store. I'm going to receive a second garden eel in winter. Anyways, that's about it on garden eels. If you have any more further questions, leave them down in the comments below. Also, have a safe holiday season. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more cool creatures, don't forget to check out my Twitter.